So let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. Let's see what we're going to tell the sign of Sagittarius. I'm at 1212, so I'm making really good time on uh, getting these done for everybody. So let's see what we're going to tell Sagittarius. Divine Spirit, show me clearly. Show me clearly the special messages. Wow, they just all tumbled out for Sagittarius. Look at that. That was amazing. So this is what I got. First card, King of Swords. I feel like whatever is going on, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or it, it could be a, a gentleman who does a lot of research, or this might just be saying, you know, telling you to do your research, to learn your information, to do your due diligence on whatever's going on. But next is another king, King of Cups. Sagittarius. This is either a Cancer King, a Pisces King, a Scorpio King. But th these two kings together, I really feel like this is an emotional king and the other is an intellectual king. One's a thinking king and one's an emotional king, but you've got them both in this reading. And next is a Queen of Staffs. And this is you. Sagittarius, most likely if you're a female, especially. This is the Sagittarius queen right here. Could be that you're dealing with a Leo or an Aries, but most likely it's you. And that was right after the two kings. And then we had the Knight of Swords. So I feel like there could be some battle here. Um, I don't know if there's competition or battle. There could, Sagi, you could be um, playing a field. You might have two got since in some sad he's got two people and they're in the battle to see who is going to win look at this the wheel of fortune card like around and around and around she goes where she stops nobody knows some sadies are playing that game with the hearts two of heart two hearts that beat as one that could be happening uh right here two different people but i feel like this is about you having to make a choice maybe because not only did you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is, you know, like the, you have to make the choice with the lotto card or whatever, but there's the justice. This is, you've got to make the choice. Plus, don't forget with the justice card, it's, it lets you know we reap what we sow. We reap what we sow. Remember that, Saji. Don't do anything that would affect anybody in a negative way or that would bring you bad karma because it might come back to hit you. Here is that high priestess. Use your intuition. Use that higher mind, your third eye. Use that intuition when you're making your decisions about whatever it is you're doing. Sometimes we do things subconsciously, unconsciously. We're not aware of the overall effect of whatever it is we're doing. But make sure you use your intuition. That's going to help you a great deal. Ah, but on the bottom of the deck is the fool. That's not going to help. That's like, I'm going to jump off this ledge. And I feel like some Sagittarius are right at that point where you're trying to make a decision. I feel like, okay, I like to take the cards apart. I'm not going to do a lot of that, but you did get a lot of major arcana for a very short reading. You got, I think, three major arcana and, and, and uh, four face cards. So it's crazy. So look, um, with two kings in a reading like this, though, it's indicative that whatever happens, Sagittarius, you can get help from men. So I would, I would consult with men. If you're a woman or a man, um, sometimes men, especially if it has to do with love, they've got their own individual take on things, which might be different than a woman, right? So make sure you get your uh, help from men because they, that's where your help will come from. Astrology, a look inside. Presenting astrology and tarot readings for all.